Hello and welcome to Infinity. Here's a novel method of darkening a picture and then lightening specific areas again that you want to keep light. So it's kind of darkening the darks. Typically what you might want to do, here's a, just as a contrast, if I go to curves and I want to just kind of darken the darks, I might anchor one point and bring the rest down like this. That's not bad, but here's another way of doing it. And if I hit Control J to duplicate the layer, and then go to Multiply, I get a darkening effect. And I quite, it's, it's quite a nice effect, the darkening, the way this done it. But, but what if I want to keep some of the lights light? So a way to do this is simply to use a tweak that is it this one here does a rather nice way of selecting light areas which is the diffuse glow and the way to do this you turn up the opacity threshold and intensity and turn down the blur the radius and then we start off we're going to pull down the threshold and you can see here this is kind of selecting areas in it it's so you can just pick the area that you want here. It's rather coarse, so you bring down the intensity, so it's just lightening parts, and see the way it's selectively picking bits out of here. I can bring down the op opacity as well to affect the adjustment, and turn up the radius for a slightly softer effect, but you can actually, that one would tend to leave quite low unless you want a deliberate blur in these lighter areas. And uh, there you are, that's it. Look, before, after, before, after. I've got the nice multiply darkening and I've protected these areas here. And it's because when I do the multiply, it's looking for darker areas and it's going from lighter here. So this is pulling it back the other way. If I took off the bottom area, you can see that's effectively, it's, you know, it's overly light with that one, but because I'm doing it for this one. There you go, nice and simple. Hope you like that and thank you very much for watching.